This is a story of a young lady who is being oppressed spiritually by a man she got married to. Please, I want you to listen to her story as I narrate the story. And she said, I dated this man for four years. When we were dating, I was staying in the township while he was staying in the village. My friends and my family, even his own family, everybody was against our relationship. I accepted to marry him when he proposed to me. Then my friends called me and told me that they don't like this man. I should stop this relationship. But I refused. I love him so dearly that I can't stay for hours without hearing his voice. I will have to call him on phone to hear his voice. Even at that time, there are some things happening that I so much believe that he's going to change after marriage. Anytime I came to his house, for example, anytime I came to his house unannounced without telling him, he will have to send me back. He will send me back. He's a womanizer. He likes woman. Everything that is in the skate, any as long as you're a woman, he will want to stay with you. But to me, I was thinking that he's going to change. He's going to change after marriage. At early time of our relationship, he introduced me to his mother as his wife to be. Along the line of the relationship, the mother called me to advise me. She told me to leave her son that I should go and look for another man to marry, that I deserve a better man, that if I marry the son, I will suffer, that she saw me as her own daughter. That's why she's advising me to leave her son to go and get a better man for a husband. I was surprised to hear something like this from his mother. Even after that, I still stay with him and people were saying that he used something on me, that I'm not doing what I'm doing with my clear eyes. This young man was dating married women. As time went by, my mother called me and advised me to leave him. You know, at a point I started considering because I was having so many suitors. At a point I accepted one of them. He paid my bride price. He paid my bride price. And this my first guy went to him and warned him, threatened him and asked him to come and collect his money back from my family. The man came and took back the bride price he paid on my head and the marriage separated. And this is how we threatened everybody that came around to marry me and all of them fleed. I was still believing that he's going to change after marriage. Then I accepted his marriage. I married him. Before the marriage, my father called me and told me that he will never come to my house. Even, even if eventually this man becomes the president of Nigeria, that he will never step his foot in my house. That he's not in support of the marriage. None of my family members knew where we are living because none of them wanted to come. Before the marriage, when I was in the city, he used to command me to send money to him. He has never pleaded with me to send money. He will always command me to send money to him and I will send the money. Someone told me that this man is after my money. That if I marry this man and when my money finishes, that this man will leave me. I never believed. I never believed his mother that told me to leave her son and get married to another man. That I will not have peace in that marriage. Even when the marriage was going on, I spent my money. He had no money. I sponsored the whole marriage. After the marriage, a lot of women used to call him on phone. Especially one woman. There's a woman that called him on phone all the time. And when I asked, he would tell me that she's a family friend. To my greatest surprise, the woman would always call me on phone. Talking to me in a manner that I consider to be insult. I asked my husband to change my SIM card. To get me a new SIM card. That I want to change my SIM card. So that this woman will stop calling me on phone. But he said no. I went to his village and I met a female pastor that I used to know there. I told her that it is a shame for me to leave the marriage just two months after the marriage. I rejected so many suitors and I am well known. I can't leave the marriage. It is a shame for me. I told her and she gave me prayer, seven days prayer, fasting and prayer. Three days into the fasting and prayer, I came to her church and she prophesied that there will be a terrible situation in our house that I should be careful. As the prayer was still going on, something happened. The woman that my husband said that she's a family friend to him. The woman is not staying with her husband. She broke up with her husband. She has a daughter who also broke up with her own husband with two kids. And my husband was dating two of them. He was dating the mother and the daughter at the same time. The daughter told the mother that my husband was dating two of them. The mother never accepted. They planned to set my husband up. As this prayer was going on, they planned to set my husband up. The daughter invited my husband to their house and the mother went out. When my husband came, 
they were inside he was inside with, with with the woman's daughter they undressed and was lying down in the bed then the mother came in and met them in the bed she started shouting and people gathered the people came after my husband and he ran away without wearing any clothes. He ran away to our house and they followed him to our house. During this time, I was not at home. I was away for the prayers. When I came back, I noticed something happened. My husband did not tell me what happened. Rather, he started keeping malice with me. After the incident, I got pregnant. One day, he collected my ATM card to check how much I had in my account. I got an alert and I asked him, I asked him why did he go to my account without telling me. He started beating me, telling me that he owns me and all I have. I use my money to take care of myself. He has never bought me even my cream. I remember what somebody told me before the marriage that this man is after my money, that when my money finishes, the marriage will end. When I complained to my mother, my mother would always tell me to face whatever I see, that I ask for it. After being beaten by my husband, if you see me, it will look as if I was beaten by a dog. After beating me, I left the house to his best man's house. His best man is not in the village, but his mother is in the village. I went to the mother. The mother treated my wounds. My husband didn't care. His best man's mother invited my mother to her house to come and see me. It was a shame for me to go back to my father's house after four months of marriage. My mother came and saw me and she started crying. Within four months of our marriage, I changed completely, looking worse than ever. Every day, the best man's mother would be crying, telling me not to go back to that man again. I told her that I was already married. One day, my husband came and was pleading that I should come back home. The woman refused that I should go. When my husband left, I started pleading with the woman. She told me that if I return to that house, whatever that happens to me is on my head that she will never intervene in this case again. I went back to my husband. My husband's mother was against us coming back again. I was in the house for about one month, no money, and my husband was nowhere to be found. One of his relatives was the one giving me money to eat. My husband went and joined vigilante group. He refused to talk to his father or my father when they called him on phone. After two months, my father sent for me. I refused to go and answer my father because I know he would not allow me to come back again. I wanted to hide my shame. At a point, it was too much on me. I decided to go and answer my father because I could not find the husband that I married. My father told me to pack all my properties if I'm coming. I didn't know what happened. Somebody went and told my husband what was going on and he came back pleading, saying that he would go and see my father. His going to my father produced no result. I returned to my father's house. My father gave me money to go and buy things for myself like provision and few other things that I need. My father shed tears when he saw me the way I was looking. I was apologizing to my father to have not listened to him. My father started taking care of me and I started recovering. Every day my husband would come to our house and kneel down begging. I refused to go back with him. This thing happened in 2015 and up to date, he has never allowed me to rest. When I was leaving, my husband told me that he will frustrate my life and I will come back to him and beg him. I am sharing this video because I always see him in my dream doing evil against me. My mother confirmed it because she went to make inquiries prophetically. It was confirmed that he swore never to allow me to have peace. As I am talking to you right now, I am having pains in my chest. I was told that he fired arrow on me. I pleaded with him. I pleaded with him that we should live in peace and make a good family, but he never accepted. Now I have gone, he will not let me have peace. I am always in tears. Up till now, he has never married and he doesn't want me to marry too. Another person came to marry me, but my husband has refused to collect his bride price so that I will be free to go and marry. He refused to answer my father's call on that. His family told him to go and collect his money, he refused. My father went to the oracle to drop the money for him and he has now gone to collect the money. He refused to go and collect the money and the money that he has not collected has kept me from getting married. I forgot to add that when I was pregnant, he beat me until I had miscarriage and the baby left. He didn't take care of me. It was a woman that took care of me until I recovered after the miscarriage. Now, he refused to go and collect the money from the oracle and is holding me from getting married. Please. House of the Sons Global, help me to share this video online. I need people to put math in this matter. Let them advise me on what I need to do in this matter because 
I am fed up. Thank you. Yeah, this is a story of this young lady. It is amazing what people go through in marriage. Thank you so much for staying up to this moment, listening to her story. Please, I want you to drop your advice on the comment section because she's reading your advice. Advise her on what you think she needs to do in this matter. Thank you so much. And please, if you have a story you want to share on this platform, use my number on the screen, my WhatsApp number on the screen, and write me. And if you want to discuss anything pertaining to your relationship or your marriage, please use the number on the screen and write me on WhatsApp. And by the grace of God, something good will happen in your life thank you so much for being here and don't forget this is house of the sons global see you next time